Heavy rains this summer caused sewage to get into our waterways. A local agency intentionally dumping the dirty water into rivers in Lake Michigan to keep our basements from backing up. It's the fifth time this year this has happened, but is it happening too much? Ricky Mitchell live along the Milwaukee River with efforts to prevent more overflows. Ricky. Yeah, Steve, this is a good example right here. This is actually porous concrete. It absorbs water as rain falls and keeps it from going into the river. Now, a lot of buildings now also have green roofs. Great example is actually on the Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewerage District roof. That agency has invested $4 billion to reduce sewer, sewer overflows. Some are saying, though, it's still not enough. As soon as the first drops of rain fall, Kevin Schaefer starts watching very closely. I'm up all night when it rains trying to keep an overflow from occurring. Schaefer is the executive director of the Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewerage District, which oversees flood management and wastewater for 28 municipalities in the region. He says anytime one inch of rain falls over the area, that's seven billion gallons of water. That has to go somewhere. A lot ends up in the deep tunnel system and underground storage for water, but that can only hold so much. But when you get that much rainwater, you know, it's uh, it just fills up the tunnel really quick. Between August 20th and September 6th, MMSD dumped a combined 543 million gallons of untreated wastewater into rivers and Lake Michigan. That's in addition to seven individual municipalities that had to do the same thing in less than a month. But it could be much worse, and that could be raw sewage in people's basements. The goal is to eventually stop overflows from happening. We've done a lot of work. We can be proud of. Cheryl Nen is part of the nonprofit Milwaukee Riverkeeper that advocates to improve water quality. She says they are very concerned that MMSD has had five sewer overflows this year. That's nearly a billion gallons of untreated wastewater going into Lake Michigan and other waterways. The agency hasn't reached levels like this since 2013. But compare those numbers to before the deep tunnel was put into operation, when the region had 50 to 60 overflows each year and up to 9 billion gallons of untreated water polluted our local waterways. How do we take all this good work that's already ha happening and really ramp it up to the point um, that we'll need to become resilient to these extreme weather events? She wants to see more green infrastructure like rain barrels, absorbent vegetation and green roofs. So we're definitely not there yet. We're definitely not there yet. We've come a long way, but we still have a lot of work to do. Now, stopping these overflows is something anyone really can get involved with. In addition to rain barrels, you can also put in rain gardens at your house. If you want more information about any of these ideas, we have a link at TMJ4.com. Reporting live along the Milwaukee River, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4. Everyone can do a little. Ricky, thanks.